You know when a phone starts making noise before it's even official? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening with Samsung's next flagship. It's already making headlines for being an absolute powerhouse. Smarter cooling, better efficiency, and a kind of performance that might just redefine what we expect from smartphones in 2025. Now, on paper, Samsung isn't overhauling everything. No wild design changes or crazy hardware leaps. But one rumor has definitely caught everyone's attention. A 5,400 milliamp hour battery. Sounds small, but that's a big deal. Some leakers aren't betting on it happening, but even the idea shows Samsung's listening. Longer screen time, cooler thermals, smoother gameplay. That's the kind of refinement people actually feel in daily use. And according to Anthony, the delay we're seeing has less to do with redesigning the phone and more with perfecting the Exynos chip, which honestly makes sense. Samsung's been experimenting with a bigger vapor chamber and tighter thermal tuning. Basically, they're trying to make power reliable this time, not just flashy and benchmarks. But just when the conversation was starting to fade, the Exynos 2600 popped back up. And this time, it's making real noise. A few days ago, an underclocked version of the chip quietly appeared on benchmarking charts. Then suddenly, boom, the faster, original version resurfaced. That's when people started realizing Samsung might be testing not one, but two versions of its first ever two nanometer processor. If that's true, it's kind of genius. Imagine a tiered strategy. The fastest version goes into the S26 Ultra, and the tuned version goes into the S26 Plus and base model. That's smart. It gives Samsung control over performance, pricing, and thermals, all without making users feel like they're getting a lesser phone. And those benchmark numbers? Pretty insane. The high-performance Exynos 2600 pulled 3,455 in single-core and over 11,600 in multi-core, the best we've seen so far. Combine that with better cooling and unified optimization across all models, and you've got a phone that's built for real-world power, not just press-release bragging rights. There's even talk that a slightly weaker Exynos 2600E might show up in the next fan edition, or flip. So yeah, Samsung's playing a long game here. And honestly, that's what I love seeing. Not another spec war, but smart evolution. Because the best smartphones aren't just about who's faster on paper. It's about who lasts longer, runs cooler, and actually feels effortless to use day after day. If Samsung can pull that off with the S26 lineup, this could be the year Exynos finally turns the narrative around.